right? Uh, here's my microwave, and here's the Jupiter. It's a 5,000 watt continuous, 10,000 surge power inverter. There's my 100 amp hour battery and my 200 watt solar panel kits. It's close to the end of the day. The sun is still shining pretty good. And we're going to run a microwave and see what happens. So I'll turn it on. There's the cord coming out of the back. Just so you know, I do have it hooked up to it. It's plugged in right there. Let's take a cup here of uh, water. Put it in there. And let's, I don't know how long it takes to boil water. Let's just put it on three minutes. It's a small microwave, 700 watts. See what happens. Voltage is at right now. There's my stupid meter that always goes to eight, so I'm gonna get rid of it eventually. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It's not at the moment, so I don't know how many amps uh, this thing is pulling. Get it down here. I've got uh, two lights shown. So, you know, it's kind of hard to see. I never see these come on, so I guess we really are pulling some juice now. And uh, let's see here. That's where we're at. And it's a turning. Just wanted to see what would happen. The sun's not at its highest like it would be around 2 or 3 o'clock. It's like 7 o'clock in the evening. But, you know, you're going to use your uh, microwave at night too. So, we'll just see how it fares with this. The only thing I have, there's the fridge. But I do not have it hooked up right now. We're uh, testing the microwave. I've done enough with that fridge already. I'm sick of it. To see how the voltage would work out. We've got about a minute and 10 seconds left. This is probably the boring part here, just standing by watching to see what happens. But, uh, Just want to test it out. This is the most I've pulled on it since I got it. The only thing I've really run on it was this, and it didn't pull hardly anything. And uh, and that fridge and that LED light right there that doesn't pull anything at all. This right here is doing the most most power draw so far of anything. There we go, it's counting down. See if we got some steam. I don't want to stick my finger in it. It's hot. Cut's real hot. I'm not sure that it boiled though. You know what? Let's put it back in there. I want to see this thing boiling. Put it in for one more minute and then I'll stop. Three minutes is long enough to cook a hot pocket or some little frozen, some frozen food or heat something up. So. That's typically how I do it, about a minute and a half, two minutes on this Hot Pockets. They work fine. But I just wanted to boil some water for, I want some ramen noodles today. So that's how we're going to do that. And voltage is under a heavy power draw. It's getting into the 11s, which I guess is normal. If it's about 10 volts, then I might start getting a little concerned about it.
it shows it'll do it but I don't think that battery just has quite enough in it oh, man, it's nice and hot Ooh, it's got steams coming out now smell it that's nice and hot let it boil over a little bit get the water in there so it'll do it and now that it's not under a uh, heavy load it dumps back up into the 12s and It'll sustain just fine. It's showing that it's charging back up a little bit. We do have uh, some sun, but it's late in the day. The sun's just sort of over there. But we can see it shining up on the plant. So we got some sun out there. It's just not straight up. So it's not really going to charge, you know, fully right now. But it did the job. I'd like to know how many times I could do it or how long I could run it. Uh... Tomorrow, I think I'll uh, just turn this thing on. I'm going to cook something for a long time. You know, like 10 minutes or something. See if this thing will run. Maybe I'll hook my little welder up to it and see if we can blow some stuff up. All right, man. Thanks for watching.